Hello everyone and welcome to another Clash Clans video. Today we're going to be looking at the Queen Charge Dragon attack strategy in this war between Carbonfin and Eric. There are a couple of Queen Charge Dragon attacks here. So I want to take a look at them and then we'll see what kind of bases that were selected for these base, for these attacks. And then we will do an attack of our own. So by the looks here we have a Queen Charge Dragon attack by Dissectron against Max Precious here. So the idea here is to get a couple of air defenses with the Queen as well as the outside Town Hall. Now that is pretty important because the Queen Charge Dragon attack strategy really became popular around the summertime when a couple of ESL clans started building bases like this. So having the Town Hall outside means that it's a little bit harder for ground strategies because you can't even get into the core of the base from the town hall side with a wrecker. So when so when clans started doing this, a little while later, people were able to recognize that this Queen Charger Dragon attack strategy would actually work really well. Since usually these bases are very compact, the dragons do a really good job, especially after they were buffed a little bit. So, dragons in the compact core do a really good job of taking out a couple of structures in the middle. And they just wipe out these buildings pretty quickly uh, uh, with the rage spell and the warden ability. So on the back end here, hopefully the dragons take out both of the inferno towers. But with the Town Hall 13, we actually have the Royal Champion, which can help take out a couple of structures where the dragons just aren't as strong. Maybe a couple of dragons got pulled over to the down to the 6 o'clock side instead of getting towards the 3 o'clock side. So the Royal Champion was used to support the dragons at 3 o'clock to take out that Inferno Tower. So then even if the dragons and the Royal Champion were done, this queen at full health would be able to take out the outside ring of the base. And that's what really makes this uh, attack strategy very strong, is having that queen survive. And she's more likely to survive if she's just walking around the outside of a base rather than going straight into the core. So next, we have this next attack where it's sort of a similar design. We have the town hall on the outside, and we have the king this time funneling for the queen at 9 o'clock. So the queen's going to try to go inside this area by area inside the walls. But she gets caught up a little bit and I think she goes towards 12 before going into the town hall area. So she kind of gets distracted by these buildings by the uh, mortar and the wizard tower. So she has to head up towards 12 o'clock before rounding the corner and getting into the base. Or rather than getting into the base, getting into the town hall. Which is her first objective. Sort of as the dragons are dropped. The town hall should be going down or down. So dragons really get hurt by the Giga Tesla. Or the Giga Inferno in this case. So what you do to prevent that is by taking it down early. And on these bases with the outside Town Hall, it's pretty easy to take out the Town Hall pretty quickly with the Queen Charge. And then the Queen can also survive, of course, till the end with good Rage placement and good Dragon placement. So the Queen still hasn't used her ability. And she's going to have to in a minute if you don't need to, if you don't use a Rage spell instead. And the dragons are coming in from 9 o'clock, right on the Inferno Tower. So the queen's also taking out an air defense. I think she took out another air defense earlier. But yeah, that's kind of the point. Is when you have these outside air defenses, it also makes the dragon attack very popular and very powerful. So this base is completely wrecked. Most of the dragons are still alive. And I'm not even sure where the Royal Champion was used, but probably in support of the dragon somehow. Alright, it looks like she was in the middle the whole time. 
So yeah, in support of the Dragons, making those defenses drop a little bit faster. Good job, Riga Torres. And for the last replay of this Carbon versus Eric War, we have SLS against Freddy. This base is kind of different, whereas in the other bases we had the outside town hall with like a wall segment, just sort of protecting it. This time we just have the town hall sort of by itself instead. So in order to make the town hall accessible to the queen, he just drops a couple of wall breakers, and under the rage spell they're able to take out a couple of walls, and the queen can walk straight in, and this time she can get air defense and air defense and the sweepers, which are very, very powerful in dragon tech. I forgot to mention that you really need to pay attention to the sweepers in this sort of attack. So the queen going in and taking out the sweepers and then dragons in from 1 o'clock. With, I think a king is up there funneling at 12 o'clock. And the royal champion is deployed a little bit early, in my opinion. But got it done, so no fault there. So the combination of rages and freezes and the warden ability really makes... Queen Charge Dragons or Mass Dragons very powerful. So in this replay again, the Queen survives and lives to take out another air defense and take out a bunch of trash buildings to help for time, of course. And we're left with the Inferno Tower, Scattershot, and a couple of Teslas in the Tesla farm. We have a bunch of dragons coming over and a rage spell to help out. And of course, loons in the slammer to help out as well. So this is going to be another overkill for the Carbonfin War. Now let's move to a recent war that I just had in One Hive. And that war is One Hive versus Aussie Militia. So unfortunately, I was traveling a bit, so I didn't have time to properly record this live but here it is so king and e-drag for funneling baby dragon is going to funnel the queen on that side so we're going to drop the queen over by the air defense at 730 so she's going to take that out and walk into the corner area by the town hall King is doing a good job taking out the air defense at 6. And he's just going to die off at some point there. So, you have the queen. Under rage is going to take out the royal champion. And then the next closest building is going to be the town hall. Unfortunately, that loon didn't quite catch the seeking air mine, so... Minus one healer. But usually that's okay. As long as we have the royal cloak and a couple of rage spells. So in this space, it's not as compact as the other bases were. So we're going to have the slammer take out a whole section of the base at 3 o'clock by the Inferno Tower. And it's going to be able to do that all by itself because there's no air defenses protecting that area. So the slammer and loons are going to be, be able to take out a huge section of the base. So rage and warden ability for the dragons going straight in from 7 o'clock. Right into the core of the base. And oh, we have uh, dragons in the CC. So that's going to help with time of course. And a giant and loons for the Tesla farm. Really helps out with tanking because the giant has a lot more HP than loons do. And free spells for the final air defense. They really work well with dragons, of course. Free spells and dragons and rage spells. And although it wasn't an overkill, we did have the queen alive. So she could have taken out the whole rest of the base by herself. So I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. I've been Ray's Gaming, and I'm out.